Hi, today I'm going to talk about the history of the guitar. The guitar is a stringed musical instrument that probably originated in Spain early in the 16th century, deriving from the guitarra latina, a late primitive instrument with a wasted body and four strings. The early guitar was narrower and deeper than the modern guitar with a less pronounced waist. It was closely related to the vihuela, the guitar-shaped instrument played in Spain in the place of the lute. The guitar originally had four courses of strings, three double, the top course single, that ran a violin-like peg box to a tension bridge glued to the soundboard. The bridge thus sustained the direct pull of the strings. In the belly was a circular sound hole, often ornamented with the carved wooden rose. The 16th century guitar was tuned C, F, A, D flat. The tuning of the center four courses of the lute and of the vihuela. From the 16th to the 19th century, several changes occurred in the instrument. A fifth course of strings was added before 1600, by the late 18th century, a sixth course was added. Before 1800s, the double courses were replaced by single strings tuned E, A, D, G, B, E flat, still the standard tuning. The violin type peg box was replaced about 1600 by a flat, slightly reflexed head with rear tuning pegs. The early tie-down gut frets were replaced by built-on ivory or metal frets in the 18th century. The fingerboard was originally flush with and ended at the belly, and several metal or ivory frets were placed directly on the belly. In the 19th century, the fingerboard was raised slightly above the level of the belly and was extended across it to the edge of the sound hole. In the 19th century, the guitar's body also underwent changes that resulted in increased sonority. It became broader and shallower with an extremely thin soundboard. Internally, the transverse bars reinforcing the soundboard were replaced by radial bars that fanned out below the sound hole. The neck, formerly set into a wood block, was formed into a brace or shoe that projected a short distance inside the body and was glued to the back. This gave extra stability against the pull of the strings. Among variant forms of the guitar are the 12 string or double course guitar and the Mexican Harana in the South American Charango, both small five course guitars. Lyre shaped guitars were fashionable in the 19th century drawing rooms. Other forms of the guitar include the metal strung guitar played with the plectrum in folk and popular music, the shallow guitar with a violin type bridge and tailpiece, the Hawaiian or steel guitar in which the strings are stopped by the pressure of a metal bar producing a sweet gliding tone, and the electric guitar, in which the instrument's sound and tone depend almost entirely on the electronic detection and amplification of its vibrating strings. Guitar music from the 16th century to the 18th century was notated either in tablature or in a system of alphabetical chord symbols. Jazz guitar tablature shows chord symbols on a grid representing strings and frets. The guitar grew in popularity during the 17th century as the lute and vihuela declined. It remained an amateur's instrument from the 17th to early 19th century. A few virtuoso guitarists, however, became known in Europe. Among them, Gaspar Sanz, Robert de Vise, Fernando Sor, and Joseph Caspar Mertz. Modern classical guitar technique owes much to the Spaniard Francisco Tarega, whose transcriptions of works by Bach, Mozart, and other composers formed the basis of the concert repertory. In the 20th century, Andres Segovia gave the guitar further prominence as a concert instrument, and composers such as Hector Villalobos and Manuel de Falla wrote serious works for it. Others scored for the guitar in chamber ensembles. The guitar is widely played in the folk and popular music of many countries. In jazz ensembles, it is part of the rhythm section and is occasionally played as a solo instrument. In popular music, the guitar is usually amplified, and ensembles frequently include more than one instrument a lead guitar for solos, another for rhythm, and a bass guitar to play bass lines. 